Yeah, a little bit of rain outside, so uh, today I'll be working inside. Thank goodness I got a garage. Um, well, after replacing the master cylinder and everything, if you uh, saw some of my videos earlier, I had that sinking brake pedal going to the floor, and I put a new master cylinder on it, and it seemed to help it a little bit, but uh, the sinking pedal, it's back. And as you can see here, as I just continuously push on the brake pedal, all the way to the floor, it just about goes. And you can hear it out there. I never ran into an issue where I could not solve a brake issue where the brakes would just go to the floor after replacing the master cylinder, all four pads, rotors, bled the system by the book, still had the pedal going to the floor. So I decided to go hardcore and do a little inspection and do some testing. Sometimes this is what you got to do. You just got to get in there and, and start uh, doing process of elimination. So uh, I knew my brake booster was okay because I could pull this off after it was setting for a while and it would hiss. No problem. Obviously it's not going to do it now. It's been sitting for a couple hours. I know the master cylinder was fine because I just replaced it. So we're good there. So I figured the only thing left was right down here. The ABS module. The whole the, the system that uh, controls your ABS. And there's certainly a lot of brake lines going into it. But I've never in my, in my career of working on vehicles, I've never had a problem with an ABS system. So I just overlooked it. And I thought, now it's something up here. So first thing I did, I unhooked uh, one of the uh, brake lines on the master cylinder here that went down to the ABS. It was the same fitting, so I just kind of unscrewed it, and I wanted to route the uh, system here, sort of block it off. I just routed one hose back into the bottom of the uh, system. So I figured if I do that and I go in there and push on the pedal, I should have a hard pedal. That'll tell me that this master cylinder is working just fine. So that's what I did, and check this out. So, wouldn't you know, after about five or six pumps, the pedal went hard as a rock. So right there, that told me, through process of elimination, that I did have a good brake cylinder, master cylinder. It was okay. The master cylinder checked out. So that only means one thing that I probably had an ABS system that was failing or going bad and that was the cause of my sinking um, brake pedal. So it looks like I'll be replacing this soon. I'm going to see if I can find another used one or have this one rebuilt and we'll swap this out and we'll put another one in and we'll see what that brake pedal does. But more than likely it's this unit here because all the other bases have been covered and it all points down to this guy here. And like I said, I've never had a problem, never had to replace one of these in my life uh, working on cars. I've heard other people have, but it's very rare that they uh, get placed. But apparently I picked up one that needs to repl be replaced. All right, well, uh, at this point, I'm about ready to head out and get the new ABS uh, pump. I found one at a local uh, parts store, well, junkyard, I should say, for about 40 bucks. And I want to go make sure it's got the same part number on it. But I did take it around the block one more time pump the brakes, put fluid in it, and you can see as I put my foot on the brake, it's kind of a dark cloudy day, hopefully you can see my foot and the brake pedal. I put my foot on that pedal, it'll just slowly, you see it continuing to go all the way down to the floor. Look at that. So I am convinced at this point that it's gotta be in the ABS pump, uh, that system or something out there's not right because master cylinder's been bled, the um, calipers have all been bled. The pump booster, the brake booster is working fine. I have, you know, I have no problem with uh, hard brakes or anything. It's just spongy going to the floor. So I'm betting on the, uh, the ABS system. And you can see I don't have an ABS light or a brake light on. So uh, off to the parts store I go. Kind of a cloudy, cool day. But uh, we'll get back here in a little bit and we'll stick it on. So stick around and see if this works. And if it does, this may solve your problem too. If you have brakes going to the floor, spongy brakes, you've done everything and you're pulling your hair out and you're about ready to put a gallon of gas in it and just light it on fire and burn it to the ground. Don't do it just yet. Find out if this works. Well, made it back and went and picked up another one and there it is. I actually got it for $40 and the part number is the uh, same thing that is on the one that is currently in it. And, uh, see down there there it is so what I've got to do is go ahead and break off all these uh, 
break these loose, these old uh, lines, get these out of here, and do the same thing with my other. Now for one final attempt, I did go around and try to bleed the brakes one more time, thinking maybe it would help, but no, it's, the brakes are still going straight to the floor. So it looks like we'll be uh, doing the ABS pump. So I got one. Stay tuned, and we'll see if that's the uh, fix for the sinking brake pedal mystery. All right, folks, I have some exciting news. After many days of bleeding brakes and trying to figure out what was wrong with this thing, I got my new, uh, well, I want to say used, uh, um, ABS pump on, and believe it or not, I got a full pedal now. That's what the issue was with, with, uh, with this vehicle the whole time. There's the old old one I just took off. Uh, I stuck the new one on, and I went in there, and I pumped the pedal two times, and it came up, and it's hard as a rock, and I didn't even, didn't even have to ble uh, bleed it. I'm really excited, and I'll show you real quick. I'll hold the light, get in here, and I'll start it up. And if you know anybody's having an issue, please share this video with the Fords, um, even some of the other vehicles. Turn it, get that off. Um, yeah, share this video because uh, a lot of people were placing um, master cylinders and and brake boosters, and it's just nuts. And it turns out uh, the ABS system will cause your brake pedal to go to the floor. So I'm gonna get in here and we'll start this up. I'll try to hold the camera at an angle where you can see everything. See my foot and the pedal. Check that out. Can't believe it. I'll stick it in gear right there. Unbelievable. Full pedal. Hard pedal too. No more sinking to the floor. Yay! And you can see on my dash, I have no brake lights, no nothing, just a low gas light. I'm really excited but to fix this. Finally, I can now get a on the road and start driving it before the big snow hits. Uh, so let me grab my light here and uh, really the only other thing I can pass along is uh, don't give up. If your uh, brake booster, uh, your master cylinder checks out okay, then go right down there. Uh, like I said, do the obvious things. Make sure you don't have a leak somewhere. But uh, apparently these things go bad. I had no clue. This is actually, you know, I've been working for uh, on vehicles for 30, 35 years. This is the first time I've ever had to replace an ABS pump in a car. <laughs> so, uh, you know, they're pretty reliable, but uh, apparently I just got one that just didn't like me. So, uh, that's it. Uh, end of the video. Thanks for watching, everybody. And uh, if you're having brake issues, uh, don't give up. Hang in there. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And Share the video if you know someone's having that issue. Uh, spread the word. It could be the a ABS pump. Don't overlook it, okay? All right, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm excited, and we'll talk later in the future.